Imagine staring deep into space and finding something that makes even the most experienced astronomers go, for the f***. That's exactly what happened in 2019 when radio astronomer Anna Kapinska spotted a strange glowing ring billions of light years away. It wasn't a galaxy. It wasn't a supernova. It looked like a giant smoke ring floating in the middle of nowhere. And on that image, she scribbled just three letters. W. T. F. Soon, more of these ghostly rings began appearing in telescope data. Perfect circles of radio energy. Each one so massive that it could even swallow our entire Milky Way galaxy 20 times over. Astronomers name them odd radio circles or ORCs. And to this day, we still don't fully know what they are. For decades, the universe looked pretty familiar in radio waves, galaxies, black holes, nebulae. But that changed when Australia's revolutionary ASCAP telescope came online. Its wide-angle radio eyes scanned huge portions of the sky at once, creating what's called the EMU survey, the evolutionary map of the universe. The EMU team expected to find millions of faint radio galaxies. Instead, they found the cosmic equivalent of crop circles in space. Perfect glowing rings, so faint, so huge and so alien looking that at first even scientists thought it was a telescope glitch. But when other observations confirmed them, the realization hit. These things are real. And that's when the real mystery began. Here's the mind-bending part. These rings are over 2 million light years across. That's 20 times wider than our galaxy. And yet, they only show up in radio waves. No visible light, no X-ray, no heat signature. Just the silent halos of energy hanging in the cosmic void. It's like finding fingerprints in the dark without knowing what left them. One idea is that an ORC is the aftershock of something catastrophic, like two supermassive black holes colliding inside a galaxy. When they merge, the energy released can blast through intergalactic space, accelerating particles and creating a gigantic radio bubble. We see that bubbles age as a ring and echo frozen in space, supporting evidence. Many ORCs have galaxies with active black holes sitting right at the centers. Coincidence? Maybe not. But if that's true, we're literally seeing the aftermath of black hole wars, shockwaves echoing across millions of light years. And the idea is simpler, but just as wild. Some galaxies shoot twin jets of plasma from their core, massive streams of energy launched by supermassive black holes. Now imagine we happen to be looking straight down one of those jets. Instead of two lines, we'd see their overlapping ends as a bright, perfect circle. So, these rings might not be rings at all, but illusions caused by our cosmic point of view. The only problem? The ores of this perfect alignment happening multiple times are tiny. Theory 3. And then comes the most poetic theory. Some scientists believe ORCs are the fossil remains of galactic creation itself. Billions of years ago, a galaxy could have gone through a starburst phase, creating millions of new stars in a cosmic frenzy. When those stars exploded as supernovae, their combined winds and shockwaves could have blown out a gigantic bubble of gas and radiation, a bubble still expanding today. We'll be looking at the faint ancient breath of a galaxy glowing softly in radio light. That theory got a boost recently when astronomers found a cloverleaf ORC, a strangely shaped one about 600 million light years away. It wasn't just a ring, it was filled with shocked oxygen gas, proof of some massive explosion or merger in the past. So maybe ORCs aren't all the same. Some could be black hole echoes, others galactic winds, each one a different cosmic story written in radio waves. So far, we have only found 5 confirmed ORCs, plus a handful of candidates, but astronomers suspect there are thousands more hiding in plain sight, too faint for older telescopes to detect. That's where projects like EMU and the upcoming Square Kilometer Array SKA, come in. These next-generation telescopes are expected to find millions of new radio wave sources and maybe, just maybe, help us finally understand the strange rings. Some researchers are even turning to machine learning and citizen science, letting volunteers help classify millions of radio images. To some, these are just mysterious radio rings. 
But to astronomers, there might be windows into the deepest processes of galaxy evolution. How black holes shape their surroundings, how galaxies die, and how energy moves across the universe. Think about it. These oases could be billions of years old, still glowing from events that happened when the universe was half its current age. Each one might be a fossilized echo of something colossal, a message from the past written not in light but in radio waves. Every time we point a new telescope at the sky, the universe throws us a curveball. Odd radio circles remind us that we have barely scratched the surface of what's out there. We are used to thinking of the cosmos as stars, galaxies, and black holes. But oases show that even the empty space between them can hold incredible secrets. Somewhere out there, vast invisible bubbles are still expanding. Remnants of ancient cosmic events, only we are just beginning to notice. And maybe one day, when we understand them, they'll tell us something profound that the universe doesn't just exist, it remembers.